Kelly would teach me to Charleston. I wish Gene Kelly would drive you to Charleston. <laughs> uh, are you ready for the end of the world? Sure, it couldn't be worse than this, y'all. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think of that? I liked it. Oh, you, uh, <laughs> you liked that? No, I just wanted to see what you'd do if I said I did. <laughs> oh. South Dakota. South Dakota has nothing to do with this show. That's what I want. Nothing to do with this show. <laughs> How can they say they're smarter than we are? Did they pay money to hear us sing? But I say, it's the critics today, smarter than the man in every way. <laughs> I think honesty's always the best policy. You believe that? No, I was lying. <laughs> Boo boo! Say the men in the theater box. Don't boogie, boogie in the barnyard. <laughs> fire down below. Great number. Thanks. Thanks. You didn't write fire down below. No, but the guy who did had just had a bowl of my chili. <laughs> I bought gold back when it was cheap. Really? Where is it now? Oh. <laughs> to sit up here and throw things at you. Yeah. Help me throw him out. No, no, no. He's a family man. He is? Yes, he's got a wife and squids. <laughs> ah! hey, will you sit down? I can't. My seat has been octopied. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. A great little actress. Yep, and getting smaller all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's a big talent. Yep, and getting bigger all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Humpty Dumpty? Terrible. I hate off-the-wall comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be declared a mistrial. What do you mean, miss? He hit every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise? I think that's Lewis Carroll turning over in his grave. <laughs> that was a great number. I don't care what you say. I thought it was dumb. Maybe you're right. <laughs> well, if you can't beat them, join them. I wonder why they call this thing a crow's nest. Get out of my nest, you dummies. Personally, I don't care for puppets much. I don't find them believable. I don't believe you. Oh! <laughs> All right. Bravo! It's all right? It's all right. <laughs> Ooh! Terrible! Bad! Not bad! Oh, pretty good. Okay! Decent! Fair! Great! I loved it! Bravo! Poor Fozzie. I don't know whether to laugh or feel sorry for him. He wanted to make us laugh. I feel sorry for him. Oh. <laughs> uh, incredible. What kind of creature would marry a gargoyle? A garboy? <laughs> who is she supposed to be looking for anyway? The guy who booked her on this crummy show. <laughs> Can we stay here while we work on our next merit badge? Merit badge and what? Grumpiness. <laughs> well, that's something new. They've never gone up a tree before. No, they usually just go out on a limb. Oh. <laughs> well, I think one more chorus would have killed the pig. Encore! Encore! <laughs> Jean-Pierre has recorded an album of Frank Sinatra's hits on the flute. What's it called? I did it sideways. Oh. <laughs> I've seen better fares on the bus. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's freezing in here. Hey, Waldorf, when you come back, bring me my coat. What? Uh, bring me my coat. Uh, okay, oh. come on, come on. What? <laughs> Your hearing aid's busted again. What? You should do something about those baby drivers. Yeah. Do you think they should be booked? No, burped. Oh. <laughs> 
Hey, you old fool. You slept through the show. Who's a fool? You watched it. <laughs> well, we should have wished him luck. Well, it's too late now. It's never too late. Break, break the leg, leg! Break, break the leg! leg. <laughs> when I was a kid, I left home to join a traveling circus. Oh, well, were your folks upset? Are you kidding? They're the ones who got me the job. <laughs> you really got to hand it to Fuzzy. Hand him what? Abuse. Oh. Boo! Boo! He is terrible! <laughs> Watch out! Oh. We surrender! I didn't know they had rock music in those days. Sure, why do you think they called it the Stone Age? <laughs> very rash song. <laughs> well, what do you expect? He started from scratch. <laughs> I once knew a whole chorus line that was turned to stone. What chorus line was that? The Rockettes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, say, Stadler, what's the first prize? Three weeks away from the Muppet Show. <laughs> well, there's no room to dance up here. Sure there is. Do the box trot. <laughs> well, those mummies didn't exactly bring the house down. Oh, the roofers are handling that. Great <laughs> number. I love trains. Yeah, but planes are safer. They are? Sure. I only rode on a train once and it had an accident. What happened? A plane fell on it. Oh, <laughs> well, that number goes back a long ways. Well, it didn't go back far enough. Mm. I could still see it. Oh! <laughs> uh, we'll get pneumonia. Big deal. This show always makes us sick. <laughs> you know, I never liked their theme music. Neither did I. You promised. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was sin bad. No, but it was certainly sung bad. <laughs> <laughs> didn't watch that. Made me dizzy. How about you? Uh, how should we know how to get to Sesame Street? We don't even know how to get out of this stupid theater box. <laughs> do you know how whales cry? No, how do they cry? Blubber, blubber, blubber. Oh, blubber, oh, blubber, 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 blubber. That's the worst act I've ever seen on this show. Yes, and we just saw it twice. No. <laughs> think about it, there are these strange pauses in this show when nothing happens on stage. Let's not think about it. <laughs> it's a classic show business story. Chris Langham walked into this theater a nobody. And he's walking out a has-been. <laughs> oh, Lottie Lemon. I hope someone knows first aid. Forget first aid. Lottie needs lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> there, can you tell anything about me from this? Yeah, you got a round shape and you're full of hot air. <laughs> <laughs> Have we ever said this show is going to the dogs? About a million times. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes another popular expression down the drain. What's that? The luck of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> you know that Wally Bogue is a multimillionaire. Oh, where'd he get his money? The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Willie Bushwhackum from up here. I'm not a Mark McCoy. Neither one. I'm a music lover. <laughs> uh, if men that ride horses are called cowboys, what do you call chickens that ride cows? Stupid. <laughs> Poor soul. He lost his sardine. Well, finders keepers. <laughs> hey, you know how dogs like their eggs cooked? No. Pooched. <laughs> What kind of show would you call that? Frankly, I'd call it quits. Quits! Quits! <laughs> you think this is better than their usual show? Of course not. Can't hold a candle to it. <laughs> uh, it's too dark to see this show. I'll see. And my hearing aid is busted, so I can't hear it. Oh, you must be having a wonderful time. <laughs> no, I'm having a wonderful time. <laughs> Where were you when the lights went out? In the dark. Where else, you old fool? 
Oh, I thought that Bayou number was okay, didn't you? Well, it's okay by me if it's okay by you. <laughs> I wouldn't believe it if I hadn't watched it. Believe what? I don't know. I wasn't watching. Oh! <laughs> Tell me, Statler, did you ever have any naval experience? Well, I once saved a rat from drowning. Really? How? I gave him mouse-to-mouse -mouse resuscitation. Oh! <laughs> Quite a touching scene. 007 and 700. <laughs> 700? Is that Miss Piggy's code name? No, it's her weight. <laughs> oh! Her weight? <laughs> well, I guess I'll go talk to the animals. What animals? The wife and kids. Oh! <laughs>